All right, where did we leave off on this RimWorld campaign? If I remember correctly, we, oh, every time I click on the world button. Someone in YouTube asked to be, to have someone named Kitty. <laughs> I will, I will do my best. YouTube commenter who wanted someone to be named Kitty. If we, you know, we'll just get a cat. We'll, we'll get a cat and we'll buy a cat and they'll be Kitty Cat. So we have a caravan that's approaching a prisoner camp. If I remember correctly, this prisoner camp is like Bound Hades' stepdad and X Trig Breaker wanted to be named after them. Them, so we're gonna give them a shot for that to happen. I believe we have a couple of turrets with us, which is great because we're gonna need those turrets. We also have a battery that hopefully is gonna remain retain its charge rather. We lost a colony member, Rexen. They succumbed to the uh, the devil's drug or whatever the heck it's uh, it's called. And you know they were they were generous enough to sign the back of their Rimworld driver's license that they were an organ donor. Their kidney found good use in Bound Hades, who has now recovered from their horrible, horrible drug addiction, which has left them with kidney damage. Then. I guess we're, we're 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 set here. The only other thing going on is that say there's a is a wild man who needs to be recruited, and that's happening automatically. Joe's resting. He got hurt. We have a doctor, an ultimate noob. They're rested enough; they can do some tending, and we have our. First rec room. We should have probably bought, brought, we should have probably constructed this much, much, much earlier, but we didn't. But at least it's getting done now. And when this gets done, we will actually have like a proper rec room and we'll have a proper area where people can go and be happy, which is just wonderful. Plenty of food being grown. We're not going to have another winter, I hope, where we just lose all of our plants due to a toxic fallout and all the animals disappear and then we just have to starve. I still feel a little bit salty about that, about the game making me leave and creating a new colony external to this base in order to get enough food, but I mean, literally the game gave me no choice. We could have probably prepared a little bit better, but that is kind of like a horrible situation. And now, we're just gonna wait. Colony is gonna approach its, des its destination in half a day. And we do have the cougar with the caravan, correct. Thank you, Queen King Dweeb, for reminding me. That cougar, I really hope it kicks ass. That's what I'm hoping for. Major break risk on Cheb, starvation on Joe. He needs some food. Um, and a meteorite. Compacted steel over here. We might mine that eventually in the future, but not now. So ultimate noob. Feed him, tend to him. Excellent. Major break risk on Cheb. Unfortunately, they have no, um, no way of getting any joy out on their trip. No recreation, basically. Radacula, dude, I'm so sorry that you guys are still in this tomb. <laughs> I just, I have no place to put the tables right now. I guess, you know, technically I do. I could put them here in this room on the side, and that might be good enough for the time being. It gets them out of the cold. It's 87 here, but I could I could put a, a cooler or a vent or something. Well, you know, I'm not gonna put a cooler because I'm not gonna stay in this room. We're gonna build it off to the side at some point, but in any case, we also need to have all these traps be constructed. These are 10 wooden spike traps. It's 350 wood. We have zero wood. Everyone's restricted. That would explain why we're not getting any wood. And we have um, we have some chopping orders on all this all this stuff. Tree sowing is currently being researched. When that happens, we will get a big tree area being grown off to the side. There is some fertile soil. I hope that works on trees because I plan to just put a tree zone like right there on top of it, and hopefully that'll work fine. And they are 0.3 days away. Yo, I'm looking for it. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in there. So are the ACs on? The ACs are on, yes. 
Freezer is frozen. Great. Uh, power. Really quickly, let's just make sure that the power grid is actually, like, in one piece. It looks like it is. Let's just make sure that, you know, I have, a, like, a, a backup path for the power, which I think is kind of smart to have. You don't want the power to go out just because it's not connected. Let's also get these smoothed. Do we have a constructor right now? We technically don't. Ultimate noob, what are you doing? Harvesting? Ooh, it's a big harvest. Look at the potatoes, they're coming in, boys. So you know what, they're gonna have a lot of stuff to do while the everyone else is gone. So we're just gonna let them do their thing. Yo, Joe. Joe, what is your what is your manipulation at? Poor 44%. Dude, you should just rest. You really need to rest. He's working at half speed. I'd rather honestly he just gets healed faster. Oh, and the dogs pulling in all of this steel slag. We do have a electric smelter currently set to smelt metal. So we should what the heck's dead Ibex Ram in here? We should get them to uh, haul that steel inside. Or so we should um, get them to start working on that steel. Do we have a crafter? We do, Joe, but again, they are kind of unfortunately out of it for the time being. That's all right, that's all right. And Fredacula and Geese are doing cooking. They're gonna cook until they have 200 meals? That's never gonna happen. I guess that's kind of the point, isn't it? It's just so that they can do cooking. Bound Hades is in a sad wander. That's very unfortunate because they're right about to hit... <laughs> they're zero days away from the encampment. That seems like a very poor time to go on a sad wander, but hopefully it doesn't matter too much. Um, and we're here. Father-in-law of Mustache. Father, father of Bound Hades. I guess they are married. All right, jump to location. J. We gotta get J. Gotta save J. They have a pump shotgun, a club, and a revolver. And there's two more inside that we cannot see. We're down here. Bound Hades has the insect jelly and the berries. It's very good that he does not have the uh, the turret. We are going to set up. What? Do they really not have any turrets? We're gonna set up our turrets basically immediately and get get ready. We're, we're, we're basically going off now. So the question is, first of all, who is the animal handler? Chad. The animal is not trained for release, but hopefully they'll still take some aggro. Battery, bedroll. You've got meals, go ahead and drop them so that other people can eat. Turrets get dropped, bedrolls get dropped, and that should be enough. Now I really hope that we have enough power on this battery. I also hope that we can kind of put it in a good enough spot that it's not going to get shot at, that we can kind of still use it for, not for cover, but we can still shoot around it, sort of. One, two, three, four, five. Like that should be good. Four, five, put it like there. And then we have these bed rolls that need to be installed. We'll just put them like over here. And now the question is, what are they gonna do? Are, are they gonna attack us immediately or not? Should we attack them immediately with our, our colonists? Even though we have one of our colonists not really available for the fight right now. What, what have I done? That's a bed roll, not a battery. <laughs> That's the battery. Get that set up. Okay. We'll never do constructing. Everyone here will do constructing, except for Cheb. Cheb will do the, uh, the bed rolls in that case. I has a cool. Do the battery. Disposable. No, you will never do construction, gotcha. Mustache, we'll do this one. Disposable. 
Did we bring along like really good armor? No, we we left it behind on like the previous encounter, didn't we? Yeah, if I remember correctly, that is what happened. Disposable, you're gonna go over here. Now, hopefully Mustat or Bound Hades doesn't just wander off and get shot. That's why I want to get these turrets up kind of ASAP. In fact, I'm gonna have um, Cheb just do the other one immediately. Okay. Consuming simple meal. Now, nah, work on the beds. He's already doing the other one. The battery is fully charged. Wonderful. The other turret. Yeah, okay. The other turret did get installed. So I'm, I'm kind of curious about when I should try to attack him. I would love to wait for Bound Hades to come out of his mental state, but we might just want to go immediately. We have three shooters and two turrets. So we're technically tied right now. Although we still have um, a minor advantage in the fact that we do have the uh, the melee unit mustache with the thrumbo horn and everything. Again, we're just gonna be very, very cautious about what we do here. I'm even gonna give a little bit of a of a chop wood order just so that people can stay busy if they have nothing else to do. Bound Hades is getting awful close. Let's check out their ranges. Shotgun range sucks, club range is melee, pistol range, about the same as the range of a uh, turret, I think. Range of this is... That's looking at him, not his gun. Revolver range is 26. Turret range is unknown. Well, that's something. It's definitely not 26, so I mean, you know, we have someone with a revolver, we can just check. So this goes to this tree. This goes to less than that tree. And they're in a line. Technically the revolver has one more tile of range. Shouldn't matter too much. Um, okay. What the heck are we doing here? I guess right now... We're just gonna wait for people to eat. We want to pull the enemies towards us and let the turrets do most of the work, right? Let's get our people set up then. I hate that the panther is asleep, but oh well. Hmm. I could set up like right here, take some shots and let them rush us. I feel like that's what I would love to do the most. So we're gonna let Cheb put down the bed. He, he's gonna rest for a, a short period of time while we try to just get barely in range of an enemy to pull him towards us. I'm just gonna go like right there. Wait for the guy with the shotgun to walk up. Taking some shots. Everyone else is just starting to work on orders. Cheb's asleep. Exhaustion from Bound Hades. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna be exhausted because he's having an, an, an attack. Why can you not hit this guy? 23%? Come on! Oh, come on! They're attacking. Okay. Everyone wake up. Jeb, you too. Go here. Mustache. You're gonna go... Like here. You're probably gonna run up to them as soon as they rush us down. But they're, they're attacking. We know what they have. Shotgun. Revolver. Machine pistol. Club. Is that their Mega Sloth? No, it's just... Wild. Dun, dun, dun. I really wish we had mustache for this, but we still have two turrets and three people. I'm actually gonna have disposable get back a little bit and mustache get back as well. Ooh, actually they're gonna rush us from this direction, so I'm gonna have Cheb get behind the battery. Mustache is gonna go around for the flank. Keep them busy. Now he's gonna go in. 
Oh, he's got his target. One's dead. One of them is attacking the turret. You know what? Good frickin' luck. No, 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 no. You know what? I actually kind of want you to stay there. You should... You should attack him. No, no, no. You should attack him. You're closer. I wish I had an angle on this guy. He's just hitting the turret. Ooh, there is another one coming up, too. Nice shot! Nice freaking job, man! They're fleeing. I didn't expect them to flee. Now, I could have put the turret behind a little bit of cover. It would have been smart. Oop, that is not where I want you to be, Disposable. Also, I do want to chase this guy down and get him if I can. Like, actual murder him. Gotcha. <laughs> in cold blood, everybody. So mustache, how do you look after that? You have a, a stab scar, which is old, and a bruise. That's what you got? You got a bruise from that? Oh my lord, it's nice. We get guns, we get weapons, we get bodies. Everyone's dead. One, two, three, four, five. This turret is, like, almost completely destroyed. We should probably repair it. It's already being repaired. I love it. We'll claim. We'll uh, have someone open the door. Verdi, I made you install RimWorld again. It's a fun game, isn't it? You trying to do better than I am? <laughs> Makes sense to me. Why did you dump all the food? I don't know why you decided to dump all the food, but you know, for each their own. So, we now have J, AKA, we already know who we're gonna name this person. Uh, bio, name. Twig Breaker. AKA, Pa, is how Ban Hades is gonna talk to him. Look at all these beds. They're all sandstone beds? Why are there. 15 pets in this room. This looks so weird. That looks so weird. I don't know what it, I don't know what to even think about that. However, what I do know is that we are done. We can leave immediately and we should leave immediately. But first, Twig Breaker, he is a super immune. Immunity gain speed plus 30%. He's steadfast. Mental break threshold minus 9%. He's greedy for an impressive room. But he has shooting stat, con good construction, mining, good planting. He's actually a pretty good person. He's never going to be doing cooking because we have cookers. He's never going to be doing crafting or research. But he's going to be doing planting, construction, and he's a, he's a military commissioner? C uh, commissar, rather. Super immune. Like it. Gotta like it. Are we gonna take tainted equipment? Honestly, whatever. I don't. I don't care too much about it one way or the other. But we're uh, we're in a good spot here. Mustache. He'll tend himself as we travel. So I'm just gonna go to the world map, reform the caravan. We're gonna take everything along, including the panther. It was useless, but you know it's still fun to bring him along. We're gonna take all the meals, all the meats, all the potatoes. All the insect jelly, all the eggs, all the medicine. We're going to take things that are worth a lot. Club, revolver, machine pistol, pump shotgun. That's a lot of money's worth there. We're going to take the bedrolls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because we have six people coming back. The battery, the turret, the other turret. We'll take standing lamps. They're not too heavy, we'll, we'll grab them. Could also t uh, bring back some components if we disassemble the solar generator, but there was only one, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna say, why bother? We can't sell anything that's tainted, so there's no point bringing those along. Everything else we want. Choose route. Go home. 
accept. And then what is this? Seven enemies. We get a TV <laughs> and a jade end table. I, I'll be honest. I do not care about a jade end table and a TV. That was great. That was a great experience, everybody. Good job. Bring them home. All right. Nice. Could you get your turret set up on their power grid? Can you, you know, I suppose you could do that. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, he's berserk because he is in pain. Because he is missing an eye and has his right ring finger cut off. And he is in severe pain. Ugh. He's naked, I accidentally took his clothes off. I mean, here's the thing. We have one person here who can use a gun. So unfortunately, we're kind of forced to use this person. Although, I suppose what we could do is just bring someone else along to stand in front of the bullets. Hey, um, yeah, just, just run a little bit. I also hate to shoot him, but <laughs> we need him to pass out again. Just don't kill him. All right, he, his rage has come to an end. Capture, go to bed, who's our doctor? It's ultimate noob, ultimate noob, please wake up. I hate doing this over and over again, but. We could give him the entire room if we want as a, uh, as a barracks. That'd probably, probably work, huh? Yeah, I tend to save. He's freaking dying over and over again. Make the prisoner doors out of stone. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, at least he's in catharsis now. He should be anyways. Yeah, he is. He needs some food and he needs to heal, but he did just get shot a couple more times. <laughs> Ugh. All right, it is summer. But we have potatoes out in the field. Those potatoes need to come inside. Because Seath is, uh, or, or Geese is hauling, you know, 10 potatoes at a time to get them in to actually be used. So we're gonna change hauling to be a one on everybody. We are gonna have to re-mess with the priority of these orders at some point, but you know, it is what it is. We just need people to get up and, and do more plant cutting and harvesting and hauling. Geese, you're gonna play horseshoes. Go do it. Consuming simple meal. Yeah, you really should. I don't know why they, they wait until they're starving, because they're supposed to be resting. You can still get up and go to the kitchen to get food. You know, I don't really care that much. Jeff's gonna have a break risk. As soon as they get back, we're gonna have this place sorted for everybody. They're gonna, they're gonna come back and they're gonna be like, wow, look at this place, it's awesome. We have so much food. I'm tempted though to assign a constructor just so I can get this stuff done and be like, look. we can at least get these unfinished things finished. Although, you know what, we shouldn't. We should let the good constructors do it, that way we'll have better quality items. Yeah, sure, why not? SCP potato verse. Look, once, once it gets cooked, you don't even realize you were eating potatoes, okay? Do we have a handler? No. Handler is gone. Look, as soon as they get back. <laughs> as soon as they get back. A group of travelers are passing by. Hi guys, hi, hi, hi. Refugee Chase. Paulson, 24 years old, blah, 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 blah. Ignore message, I don't care. We, we have enough people that we don't even have rooms for. In fact, we don't have enough rooms for them. 
Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We barely have enough room for all these people as is. We're gonna need more rooms and more space here. So I feel like what we should do is solve that problem now. You know, we have a, enough sandstone. Let's extend this a little bit. And uh, move that cooler down a little bit. Make a couple more vents. We have a couple of beds. Why are they beds at 50%? Oh, right, explosions. <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't remember these beds being at 50%. Oh, right, they probably just exploded, if I remember correctly. That explains it. Field stove. We need to build a non-field stove over here, a second one, but we'll worry about that later. Let's build end tables, dressers, flower pots. Let's build lights. Another line of power conduits. And more doors. More doors. Good stuff. Mustache Quack is fully healed. And Joe, he's um, he's getting back up there. Manipulation's at 60%. Once he hits like 70 or 80, I'll probably have him start working the fields again because we have potatoes that are getting close to being grown. Geese is hauling like 10 potatoes at a time, unfortunately, because and no one's actually doing the hauling. They're just doing cutting and then just like running off to do other things. I mean, it's it's important that Ultimate Noobs does try to recruit this guy. But it would also be nice if he could do some cleaning. So I'm gonna say, do cleaning, 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 do clean. I'm giving, giving him a big clean order, basically. Because there's a lot, a lot of dirt everywhere, basically. Clean all that. All right, then you're good. Then clean that. Then clean all this stuff that you missed. Then clean that. Th he'll be fine. This this will be his day, just doing a lot of cleaning. But it needs to happen anyways. Oh, there's some dirt. Go clean all that dirt, dude. I'm sorry. Oh no, that's my Mega Sloth. I forgot. <laughs> I looked and I'm like, what the heck? No, 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 that one's mine. That, that's, that's a good boy. Eclipse. It's fine. Milk Jug says, I wish I could come back to life. It'll happen one day, I hope. Ding! My grandpa had potatoes flooding his house during the Great Depression. Depression. He just jokes about it every half second and it's caught on. Look, there's nothing wrong with a good potato every now and then. Potato. Potato. Let's also make some floors. How much limestone do we have? 93? It's not enough for like a single room, unfortunately. Low medicine, major break risk on Joe. Why? Proposal rejected, in pain, was imprisoned. Greedy. Recreation unfulfilled. Unsightly environment. Awful hospital. Ate without a table. Ratty apparel. Colonist died. But he's comfortable with low expectations. It's hard for me to make him be able to have his other things, but you know, eating without a table, that one's easy. Oh, you know what? They're not eating without a table because this is technically the prisoner room. I understand. Um, so we, we actually do need to build the door again. Acceptable. I will set Ultimate Noob to do that immediately. So you know, he's going to have that debuff for another day. I, I thought that they would still use the chairs in the room because I've seen them do it before. But I guess they're not prioritizing it because it's not their room. But now it should be their room. Give him carpets. 
We need cloth for carpets. We don't have any cloth, but I do have cloth being grown. A little bit of cotton being grown there, and eventually I... This mega sloth goes through rice like nobody's business. Eventually I will get more cloth, but can't really do it right now. I'm gonna focus on food, because, you know, we desperately need the food. We did lose power. It's an eclipse, though, so that makes sense, honestly. As soon as the eclipse passes, we should be good to go. So what's happening right now? Geese is currently cooking. For Dacula, what are you doing? Making kibble. Dude, I, I don't think we need to make all this kibble, but we have to do something with the insect meat anyway, so I'm just gonna let him do it. Although, what we do need is we need a shortcut between these areas. So let's put a door right here. No, we'd have to put a door there and there. I mean, honestly, we should just move this in there, right? Like, put that there. Put that there. All right, look. Just move it over. Just please move it over. Oh man, the power situation is so effed right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, keep moving that over. Well, cooking, now you're doing the cooking, and then you will do the butchering and the kibbling. Alright, that's good enough. Fair enough. That should speed up that whole process significantly. And these guys are planting more rice because we had a, uh, a bit of a mega sloth action eating all the food. The mega sloth is gonna be eating the food. There's not much we can do about that, unfortunately. It's both a good and a bad thing. Milk Jug's worried she'll never get revived. She'll just be in the freezer forever. We'll, we'll get you out of the freezer at some point. Do not worry about that. It will happen. Uh, we need to... You know, it's summer. Let's have the doors stay closed. We'll open them in the winter. Better than being in the freezer forever. Or g decomposing and turning into plants will be better than being in the freezer forever. You're not gonna be in the freezer forever. You'll, you'll get out of it. Don't worry. At least the eclipse is over. We'll get some power now. It's just a problem when we're using the... Uh, Sun lamps. I could turn them off when we have an eclipse, but it's too much effort. Carrying berries to make kibble. Dude, I should I should honestly um, deprioritize this order. Like I want him to haul the berries in. Honestly, like he, he's cooking simple meal. Just haul the berries inside. I do wish the game did a better job of prioritizing that stuff. Also, hey, gold. Don't forget about the solid gold. Being in the freezer builds character. Builds something. Builds a smell. <laughs> Lying on the solar panels, cloud watching. Animals just ate the freaking meat. Uh, job! Nuz nuzzling Joe. We're gonna follow Zoya as Zoya nuzzles Joe. Where's Joe? Hey, Joe, you want a nuzzle? Nuzzle, nuzzle, nuzzle. <laughs> nuzzle, plus four mood. Oh, dude, you need... You need something in your life. This is... This is absurd that you're that low. But we gotta wait for people to get here to get this uh, room more impressive. And we need the room to be, to be impressive by, like, adding in some, uh, some art, really. That's what needs to happen. He enjoys a good puppy nuzzle. You like that nuzzling is a job. Yeah, it's not like it's not just some, something that happens randomly. It's like, hey, here's a nuzzle. Yo, a mega sloth. Male, age three. Female, age six. Absolutely tame the shit out of that. Ooh, ten percent chance of going rogue. Let's wait on that until our good people get back. They are 
point one day away. Oh, and then this colony. The production is going to pop off. We will actually get shit done, I feel. Hops getting grown. Eventually, we will make beer. Don't worry about that. Caravan has arrived. In fact, we can make beer right now, I think. Um... No, yes? There's a ferment- uh, brewery right there. Then we'll make some fermenting barrels. We'll put them, uh... Put three of them down, right there. Next to the butcher's table. I like this room because it has a little bit of cold thermal coming in from the cooler and a little bit of heat due to the heater being in there, which we should actually move, um here, really. But I like it because um, this room is going to be like the ideal temperature for the beer, and the temperature does matter. We also need to turn the hops into wort and then put them into the barrels, but that'll happen once we get the brewery online. Online. Mega sloth babies. The problem with the mega sloths is that they do require a lot of a lot of food. But if we can get enough food, we'll be fine. So Jeb is just psychotic, dazing up here by the uh, <laughs> by the wild boars. Hopefully, he doesn't go into an attack and or get attacked by the boars. Rather, I mean that's very scary. But now we got everyone back. So what we're gonna do is really quickly go back through the priority list and redo everything, especially because we have a new person here, and we know their base jobs. He's a good constructor. Good grower. I want everyone... Actually, I don't really want everyone on hauling and cleaning. I'm gonna put like one person on cleaning, one person on hauling at this point. So let's get, let's clear out like most of these jobs. Constructing. Mustache is our number one constructor. He has a 16. Bound Hades. And Hayazakul are our secondary constructors. I want them to be probably on like a, whoops, probably on like a two. Just so that I can give them a, a first priority. Mustache is my first constructor, ideally. Then, handling. Cheb, our handler, is back. He's going to do more handling. Growing. You're growing, you're growing, you're growing. Joe can craft? Geese and Fredacula are our cooks, though. We're gonna have geese, like a two mining, cooking mining, and then if he's done, I want to be notified. Fredacula, cook, growing. If he's done, I want to be notified. Joe, growing, this is like a two. I think maybe smithing and crafting should be higher because he has a passion for it. I'd like him to get kind of trained up on that. Fredacula is, is a better smither, but unfortunately he's a better cook. We could have Geese do all the cooking, but I don't know if he can produce enough food for everyone else. But right now we only have one cooking station, so you know what? Fredacula? There you go. Smithcraft, grow plant cut, cook. If there's nothing else for you to do, let me know. Disposable. Warden, handle, hunting. You're a cleaner and then a researcher. Very, very simple. So he's going to be our primary researcher, I feel, just because he really has nothing else to do. Joe, Smithcraft. Actually, you know what? Bound Hades is going to be our, our Smithcrafter. He doesn't have a passion for it, but he, like, can't really do anything else. <sighs> he's gonna be horribly trained at it. He could be a researcher. He has a, a six in research, he'll do that. He has a cool constructor, grower plant cutter. He's got a five stat, that's okay. He only has a three in smithing crafting, but he is passionate about it. Um... I 
kind of like this. What are you doing, Twig Breaker? You're doing nothing. We don't need another constructor. Although you're you're tied with everyone else, so I, I can give you like a two on constructing. And you're good at growing. And then you know what? We can make Hyazakul not do that. I mean, he could just be a researcher for us. Construct research? Cheb, what are you doing? You're handling? You're hunting? You have a revolver? That's good enough. And, uh... Handling, hunting, if there's nothing else to do, haul. Okay, let's let's see how this how this works right now. Now, I think I am gonna just like right now quickly move the uh, research benches out. I don't really have a spot to put them though. I need to build like a research room right here, which we can do. You know, we could just extend this wall up a little bit to like right here and then have this whole area to work with. Build a research area, build a crafting area for stone and metals. I kind of like that idea. I, I would need someone to do crafting for more sandstone. But we also want to build this this room right here. So let's wait for that to happen. Let's wait for that to, for the orders to kind of percolate through a little bit. Because Mustache right now is getting to work. He's replacing broken components, he'll do repairing, he'll do construction. Twig Breaker has already started. Let's let them do their thing. Peace talks. Here. Oh my god, I hate, hate it when it's in the mountain. It takes forever to get to. 2.99 days! <sighs> it also means I'm gonna have to like bring someone out there to do it. Bound Hades is a 13, Cheb is a 14. We can afford to lose Cheb if all he's gonna be doing is handling and hunting. I could set someone else to do handling, like Mustache, and then he can just do it while he's gone. Yeah, yeah, it's probably viable. It'll take a long time for it to be done, but... Mega Sloth can fit through a wooden door. They can, can't they? Who's cleaning? Disposable? What are you doing? Cleaning dirt? I love it, thank you very much. I has a cool, when you're done with that chair, please build the light. In fact, build the light right now. Thank you. Look at this, everything's getting done now. We're like a, a, a frickin' colony. Need cloth for the wooden billiards table. Look, it'll get done one day. Let's get another, like, chop order done. Wow, there's nothing to chop. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they'll, they'll chop down the trees when they can. Can you get air transport? You can, technically, Dino Caden. You can get, um... It's like drop pods. Somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Transport pods. You can get transport pods, which allow you to fire off your people in like a, an area around you. And it takes like an hour to get to your destination. They, keep, they have to walk back, but if you're assaulting a base, doing a mission, doing peace talks, you can do it instantly and then everyone can just walk back. It's kind of neat. Oh, also, uh, uh, Cheb, 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 Cheb. Talking, weakened, because you're hungry. Talking weekend. Oh, you know what? Muscle parasites is the problem. Who's closest? Found 80s. You're doing the heater. When you're done with that, talk to these guys. I want to get rid of some of my, my garbage. Get some money for it. Or just like some things. You know, we have a lot of dogs. We don't need all these dogs, but right now they're still okay to have, I think. Okay. Kibble. We want to keep it. Insect meat. We want to turn it into kibble. Meat, meat, we don't need to buy any meat. We have enough food and we're gonna get more food as time goes on. 19 components, keep it. Chem fuel, easy to make. Neutroamine, we have none? We have no neutroamine? Hold on. I have one joint and four beers. 
Do I really have no neutral aiming? I thought we had some. Maybe it, Oh, you know what? It probably blew up in the great explosion of someone having a tantrum. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna need some more neutral aiming. I feel. All right, we'll we'll get like I don't know how much is fifty four hundred. All right, let's sell some stuff and then we'll consider buying it. We have a lot of leathers we don't really need. A lot of leathers that are also just like about to go bad. So maybe we should actually build something with some of these leathers. But let's let's get rid of anything that we only have like less than a hundred of, just to free up inventory means that we don't have to freaking haul it around as well. Keep the joint, keep the steel, sell all the clothes that are going bad. I'll keep that parka. That parka is, is good enough. Lamps, we can install those. Beds, we can build new beds. It's kind of hard though without having access to a lot of wood. That's okay. So we're gonna get 571 money from all of this, huh? We could buy some armor. Steel plate armor? We can make that pretty easily. A helmet might be nice. I mean, someone did get shot in the head a little while ago. We could just buy a billiards table. That way we don't have to wait for the plants to come up, for the cotton to come up. You know what, I I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to buy a billiards table and then just buy as much Nutriamine as I can get. Because that way we can make medicine eventually. And then I can just say, cancel, install, install, and it'll be done. And then we'll have someone, ooh, you're not a hauler. Ah, uh, you know why? Because no one's a hauler, so we need to actually set these haul orders up, I feel. We'll have whoever can do it, like you, you know what, we'll just have frickin' Bound Hades do it. He's already up. We'll never do hauling, never mind. He has a cool, please haul. Oh, you'll never do hauling. Uh, okay, uh... Hey, someone haul this Nutri-Amine inside. Thank you. There we go, now we got a pool table. We don't have to wait for the cotton to come up. I feel like that's pretty good. 